So we're currently at Boston Logan Airport and we're flying to Long Beach, California. But the flight's delayed like over an hour. So we are watching Ellen. And we checked our bags for free at the gate. And yeah. We are already and I'm using my indoor voice. Currently waiting for our Uber. Good morning. So it's the next day from when we flew to California. We flew into Long Beach and it was kind of nuts. So they asked when we were in Boston if anyone would volunteer to check their bags at the gate for free. And Micah and I were like, yeah, why not? Because then we don't have to worry about like overhead bin space and stuff. But we were like the only people that volunteered and we were like, why wouldn't you check your bag for free? Well, so it turns out at Long Beach Airport, they only have three baggage carousels and um, like multiple flights worth of baggage were all going to the same carousel. And so it was like a crazy mess. Plus their carousels are outside and it was kind of cold. But anyway, it's the next morning and we're gonna go grocery shopping and get some like basics, like breakfast type food items. But we actually ordered Blue Apron for making dinners this week. So I'm pretty excited for that. And we're gonna go get, oh, the Blue Apron came. What's the other thing? Oh, it's huge. Oh, is it from Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> it's heavy. Okay, so that's the blue apron. That's our dinners for the week. And that is... I don't know what it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yay, mail. Yeah. Anyway, so a bunch of packages came. A Christmas gift for Micah came. And our blue apron and stuff. But now, we are really, truly setting out to go to Trader Joe's. That's true. Went to Pete's Coffee and I got us some iced coffee. And now we're gonna go and put the food away and then go to Krispy Kreme. Okay, hi guys, so we're back at Micah's apartment and I'm gonna just show you a quick grocery haul. So, we got a few basic things and then some snacks for the week. Um, so we got two kinds of tortilla chips, blue and normal. We got some white eggs, some um, shredded cheese, some fresh broccoli, some organic hemp seed bars, just for like, cause when we go like hiking and stuff this week, we want some snacks. Um, these t Trader Joe's brand um, cherry pomegranate toaster strudels. Oh, this is the tea I got you. Yeah. I got him this tea. Well, actually it's not. I drank all that and bought it again. Oh. Um, okay, this Hatch Valley salsa. Put that up there. Um, and then some Himalayan pink sea salt and pepper, black pepper. So we got two bottles of wine, this Pinot Grigio, and then Chardonnay. Thing of olive oil for cooking with. Cinnamon raisin bread. Um, do you think we should put this in the freezer right now or? Okay, but... And then another thing of salsa, this is the fall harvest salsa, which I'm really excited to try. It is an autumn melange of fruits and veggies, including pumpkins, apples, and butternut squash. Sounds good. Oh yeah, we got some chicken sausage. Fridge or freezer? Uh, freezer. Because we can do the bacon first. We also just got some like bacon, basic bacon and then the last few things we got were just some loose cliff bars for when we're out and about and we want to have snacks because we're planning to do some like walking around and outdoorsy stuff over here so we got a few different flavors we got two of the peanut toffee buzz we got two of the blueberry crisp and then we got two of the oatmeal raisin walnut and then one of the cool mint chocolate, which I'm like not sure about, but could be good. 
All right, so we're gonna go get Krispy Kreme now. I don't know what time it is. It's like 12.06. We haven't eaten yet today. We have coffee and yeah. We got six. We got two original layers, raspberry fudge, cinnamon sugar, chocolate cake, and the sour cream old fashioned or whatever it's called. That's good. Want to try it? I like this. Can I try a bite of that? Here, let's switch. I don't usually like filled things. It tastes like a toaster. This is the raspberry filled. Um, that's actually pretty good. We didn't realize, but we're like right next to a giant outlet. Okay, so it's a little past three and we are leaving the outlets now. We wanted to get food. They have like a lot of food places here, but I was thinking that we can head back to Irvine and get in and out at the one near Micah's apartment and then chill for a little bit and then make dinner. Like late dinner because we might be full from the in and out, but we'll see. <laughs> and I kind of want to go for a walk around the Irvine campus. What do you think? Yeah. And yeah. Burger taste test. Let's see. That's pretty good. I really like that. It's a lot bigger too than Shake Shack. The taste is just more crispy. I feel like and Shake Shack and In N Out aren't even really comparable because. It's just like different burgers. Well, no, it's like different price ranges. Like, this is in the price range of, like, McDonald's. What's cheaper? Unless you want the dollar menu. This is a pretty hefty burger. I don't understand what animal style fries are. Cheese. Thousand Island dressing. Bacon and onion. Mm. It's different. Not what I was expecting. But good. Like I think I like them. It's probably not something I could get every single time I came here. Okay, so we're gonna make this recipe: beef over curried spiced rice with creamy cilantro sauce. This is probably the stuff we need. Yeah, probably. Look at it. Unfortunately, this is not sponsored. We paid for it ourselves. But you know what? We're still going to show you because it's interesting, I think. I'd watch it. <laughs> <laughs> if that's any indication. Alright, I'm guessing this is the curry powder. And it said half of it. Can you get a cup of water? Um, I think we actually have measures. Really? Yeah. That's nice. Do you have kitchen scissors? Uh, we do, actually. There's these ones. I don't know if they're kitchen scissors, but they're scissors. Huh. Yeah, I thought we had a measure. Oh, we do. Okay, really good. Push, push. Uh, pour a little more. That's probably half. I don't know. And then we have to heat to boiling on high. So, this is what it looks like. I think that looks right. Yeah. All right, this is the finished product. We did the beef over curry or curried beef over spiced rice or whatever it was called. And it's basically just ground beef and like carrots and some rice with curry powder and then this cilantro sauce and we're gonna have this bottle of pinot grigio and yeah and mike already tasted it and said it's very good so yes i'm very excited i just want to quickly show you the things that i got when we went to that outlet mall in orange because i don't know 
I wasn't expecting at all like well we kind of had a loose plan to like go shopping because Micah needed new shoes um but we were just gonna like find like a mall or something near where he lives but since we were at Krispy Kreme um literally right next to the Krispy Kreme was the outlet mall so we were like why not go there so the first place that we went was Levi's and um I got a pair of jeans that were actually on sale yeah so they're originally $50 and they were half price and they are just the high rise skinny very simple jeans like they don't have any um like fading there's no um like distress at the end or anything like that but they fit so well the only thing is that i got the short size these fit amazing in my waist and my legs like it just looked good and felt really good but the length was still a little too long which is disappointing because these are the short ones so it's like if I want them any shorter I'll have to cut it myself. And Micah actually found a pair of white jeans that he really liked and that is a big deal because Micah does not own jeans. He refuses to wear them. He likes to wear sweatpants, PJ pants, and chino pants. He will not wear jeans. So he actually found a pair of white jeans and he loved them and he was we were gonna buy them together because if you buy two pairs of jeans they had like a promotion going on but it turns out the promotion wasn't going to work because my jeans were half price and his were full price. And then, um, yeah, he didn't want to pay full price for the jeans because, like I said, he literally doesn't own jeans. So I don't think it was worth it enough for him. But then the other thing I got was a pair of sneakers from Adidas. I have been wearing these, like, champion sneakers, which are just, kind of, like, really basic gray, like, kind of sock material sneakers. But they have, like, no support and are getting pretty worn out and dirty. So I've been wanting a nicer pair for a while and we were at the uh, the Adidas store anyway, so I decided to get a pair. I got the Edge Lux 3 in a size seven. So they look like this. Well, I think I have a clip of me like trying them on in the store. And they were so comfortable. Like when I tried them on, they literally fit like a glove. So um, I'm pretty excited about these. My space is a little tight because I do have to fly back home and I'm not checking any bags. But I figure that since my other shoes are so worn out anyway, and also they were like really, I think they were like $15 from Payless. So I honestly think I'll probably just ditch them here at Micah's. It's like not really a huge loss to not have those. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that is everything I got. I got just like the two things. I know it's like not that exciting, but for me it was kind of exciting because I wasn't expecting to go shopping really. Like I thought I was just going to go to like a boring mall and get Micah his shoes and then that was it. But he did get a pair of sneakers also from Adidas. They're like maroon. They kind of look like the ones that I got. But they're for guys and they're maroon. So anyway, that is it for day one in California. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.